it makes people see houses and barns that are falling down and what could be done with them. It took a few years and a lot of work, but this afternoon the Five Mile House Foundation was finally able to dedicate their 140 year old barn. It was moved over three miles away from its original home. Thanks for being here for your local news at 10. I'm Marley Capper. They originally hoped to dedicate the barn last year, but the pandemic put those plans on hold. WCIA 3 Scarlett O'Hara attended the celebration. Scarlett, why did they move that barn? Kathy Hummel, one of the Five Mile House board members, says this project was about bringing history to life. The Commodore Perry Davis barn was built in 1880. It's just kind of awe inspiring to do know what they did without our modern technology. Then it was rebuilt over the past few years. It's been a bonding experience for all of us and uh, the right people have come along at the right time and gotten things done. The Five Mile House Foundation needed to raise around $220,000. That's how much it costs to take the barn down, move it, reassemble it, and put on some finishing touches. Even 2019 when we just had the frame up and we didn't have the siding on yet, we had our summer programs and then each time they would see a little more progress. But luckily, there was an outpouring of support in Charleston and beyond. They said, well, how's the fundraising going? Well, we're $6,000 short. They pulled out a checkbook and wrote us for a $6,000 check on the spot. Foundation President Tom Vance says about 40% of the original barn was able to be saved. And if you look hard enough, you can find it. There's ax marks in the old wooden beams, bricks that were made in a historic brickyard, and several large rocks that used to be the foundation of the structure. Thinking people were able to build this kind of barn without any electricity and just you know, human labor and non-electric machines. They'll be hosting blacksmithing and spinning classes there and giving children the experience of living history. There was no hardware store to go to to get your tools and they made them. So it really helps them appreciate what they have. Hummel says they're dreaming of even more uses for this barn. They hope to run it out for weddings someday. Marley. Thank you very much. The Five Mile House Foundation has plenty of events lined up for the summer. You can visit them during one of their living history open houses or attend a scheduled event like a spinning and blacksmithing demonstration on June 12th. You can find all those details and more over on our website.